How was Royal Life able to identify frequencies using microscopes such a long time ago, but we find it difficult today? Rife invented a microscope capable of magnifications of 31,000 times. He could resolve and see viruses and bacteria that no one else could, and while it was still alive and moving. He could then apply frequencies to the pathogens and watch them die. Even today, we struggle to match the resolution achieved by Royal Rife's microscopes. So how did Rife design such a powerful microscope? He understood how to build a microscope that separated light into distinct frequency bands, carried by oil, not air, and then reconstituting it for viewing, surpassing the limitation of optical techniques which are still used today. It was by this very feat that he realised that the microbes he was viewing were too small to be stained. The stain was bigger than the bug. So he found a way to make them glow using specific bands of light. Then the thought occurred to him, if he could make them glow with the frequency of light, maybe he could kill them with frequencies as well. The rest is history. Electron microscopes long ago surpassed the 31,000 magnification that Rife achieved, but they kill the subject in the process. Not terribly useful if you're trying to observe live subjects. 